2000s saw another anime boom in the West that was fueled by Toonami, airing many popular shows including Cowboy Bebop, Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Gundam Wing. After Dragon Ball Z's reign ended, Naruto Bleach and One Piece gained attention which then would become the most popular anime of the 2000s, often being dubbed as the big three and put in the spotlight for all the full out heated debate wars. At the same time, fan subs democratized the availability of anime like Love Hina being the hit in the community during the early 2000s, Spirited Away won Oscars, and Pokemon was still this big cultural phenomenon amongst young kids. It became clear to some western companies that anime became something that could be invested in. That's why we got shows like Trigun, Big O, Helsing Ultimate, and even Samuel Jackson starring and helping produce Afro Samurai. DVDs were replacing VCRs, becoming more affordable and allowing viewers to watch their anime in high quality anytime and anywhere. DVDs also gave licensors an excuse to fill the shelves, which unfortunately, this excessive optimism and over-speculation added with fansubs and the slowly adjusting Japanese business model would be one of the reasons the anime market crashed. Literally, every show was being dubbed in the shows that should never have been dubbed. Shows like Lucky Star and Hajime no Ape were getting dubs despite the low appeal they had to western audiences, and it was apparent that the high quantity of dubs yielded low quality dubs to consumers who had only so much money and only so much care for the culture. Fan subs became faster than ever with a price you can't beat, too many people were getting a hold of anime and not buying the DVDs. During this period, there existed high hostility between members of the anime community and producers. Fan subs were giving some anime fans an elitist sense of entitlement to anime as if it was their own birthright. Anime fandom was really exclusive. If subs weren't filled with weeaboo words and accessible to an outside audience, then it's not good. If an anime was dubbed, then it's not good. Anime was dying, and fans were undoubtedly aware of it. The problem became evident with the shows being produced. The massive success of The Melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi and Kayon encouraged almost every anime studio to produce shows like Haruhi and Kayon, hence the overflow of Moe during the time. Moe received backlash and criticism amongst critics and veteran anime fans, being cited as the death of anime. But Moe was prospering and it was the niche of the time, invading all the merchandising and further popularizing 2D love amongst fans. To add on to the dying state of anime, Toonami shut down in 2008 due to low viewership, Xi'anan Pictures and America's Bandai Entertainment closed their windows, and DVD sales continued to plummet. But that's not to say this era was full of anime shows and movies that could never be masterpieces in the eyes of anime fans. Tetsuro Araki's Death Note in 2006, which spawned a live-action movie adaption, and Attack on Titan in 2013 took the anime community by a storm. Production IG produced anime and movie adaptions of the Ghost in the Shell franchise, Gonzo released Welcome to the NHK, which discussed the social problems of shut-ins and hikimoris in Japan, Studio Shab made its presence in the anime community with their cult hit Bakemonogatari and later Madoka Magica, which has been credited as deconstructing the magical girl genre. Studio Gainax created Gurren Lagann, an anime that pays homage to the real robot genre. The decades of anime also took the Hollywood approach, with anime like the Berserk Golden Age trilogies, Space Battleship Yamato 2199, Dragon Ball Z Kai, the Evangelion rebuilds to suit the new generation, the more faithful manga adaption of Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, and Sailor Moon Crystal. The West also saw the further obscurity of the term anime, with anime-inspired shows like the Avatar franchise and Ruby. Anime was shifting into digital and computers with a rare number of titles such as long-running children's show Saze Sun and eye-catching film Redline still using traditional animation techniques. And one key feature that has undoubtedly been affecting anime is of course, the internet. With the touch of the tip of your finger to threaten the seats of your home, anime can be assessed by anybody. This new trend for watching anime has led to the decline of anime viewing on TV during the final half of the decade that was what partially drove Toonami to close down. It was only thanks to nostalgic fans that we got to see the revival of Toonami in 2012 which has pretty much exceeded all expectations. But even so, most anime was being watched on the internet. The enormous amount of fan subs and illegal streaming sites were finally responded by anime companies and studios when Crunchyroll reopened as a simulcasting website. Increasing awareness on the simulcasts has led sites such as Crunchyroll and Funimation to gain popularity over the years, with fans in favor of the high quality streaming and subtitles provided as well as support for the industry. Once only restricted to a select group of people, once only seen in cinema, once only seen when broadcasted on TV, now, rewatch with the release of the VHS and then followed by the DVDs, 
Never before has anime been much easier to view at any given date and given time. YouTube, demon art, and forums were further broadening and forming communities where fandom kept growing. That's why we have the anime channels, the fan arts, the fan fictions, and the heated debates on anime shows. So, where is anime headed in the future? Is anime sitting its deathbed, making its last final breaths before the curtains close on it? Well, anime has been recovering from its crash during the second decade of this century, and there's no doubt about it. The anime industry has learned its lesson from the past by only releasing select anime titles in North America and legal streaming services like Crunchyroll are providing legal access to anime. And there's anime continuing to experiment with 3D and CG as they're becoming more affordable for anime to incorporate. But what's more is that the mindset of fandom is changing. Anime fans are no longer defining themselves as anime fans, but rather anime fans are becoming fans of anime. It's not about the amount of shows you've seen, and it's not about the shows you've seen. Fans are evolving, participating, and creating the medium they love. Fans talk to their favorite creators on Twitter. Creators are moving closer to fans, and fans are becoming creators themselves, reminiscent of the beginnings of Studio Gainax. Kickstarter campaigns give anime fans the chance to support the anime they want by letting fans to help fund the production of the anime as seen in Kickheart and Little Witch Academia. This phenomenon of creators interacting with fans is by no means a new thing. The 70s saw fans helping promote the space battleship Yamato film. This act of interest has also been evident in the growing attendees at anime conventions every year. Fans want to meet fans and become more involved in the community, and the internet has only served to further fuel this activist approach. The age of subs and dubs is long over, as more and more fans become more welcoming in the medium they love, pushing aside negative attitudes of exclusion and elitism. Anime has changed and is still changing, as a medium of art and as a medium of entertainment. New fans are changing the look and expectations of fandom and anime. Young aspiring talents like Mamoru Hosoda and Makoto Shinkai are rising to the throne that Hayao Miyazaki left behind. From the early pioneers onto Ash Boy, to the mecha genre, and to the Moe High School shows, the history of anime has shaped and molded anime into something that is recognized as today. Anime is more than what it is and has proven itself many times that it has the capabilities to draw the burning passion in its creators and fans. Anime may never reach the widespread popularity that other forms of media have, but anime is something different, something unique, something of great importance to animation, to Japan, and to fans. Thank you.